I mean, so okay, let's see. Mary, huh? come to the Mary. show, Mary. Come to the you show. I hope she wasn't she listening. Uh -huh. Was she? Claire. <laughs> she must have been listening. <laughs> she knows that has been transpiring. <laughs> so Clive, nasty. over to you. Oh, no. Are, are oh. you with her? What's going on? Mary. No, I'm not with her. She's in her room. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mary, okay, no Mary, we I can hear you, but we can't see you. A very good evening. Uh, good evening. Um, I've been waiting on here. Oh, yeah, we see you now. I don't know what. Can you see me? Yes, oh, yeah. yes, yes. We yes. can see you now. Is she hearing? <laughs> we hope you can hear us as well. Yes. So um, I should say congratulations and uh, well we have heard what has been happening uh, off the court but now happening on the court. Tell us your experience so far, your experiences. How has it been for you? Um, as we have a positive mindset because regardless everything that's been mentioned, something I didn't find the need but maybe the public needs to know what's going on. Um, but uh, yeah, it's for us now. Thinking about it was what have been said. It just is devastating that is happening to netball, and just pushes a lot of positive stuff that's been happening, and just shift the mindset to the negative stuff. But besides that, I think we have been very united as a team, um, and I think this has been a better working environment that I ex experience because I've been in the previous and now in the present, and I think like. Um, they're doing a very good job trying to keep the drama away from us because we we keep focus regardless what is happening outside. But we have been enjoying the tournament so far. We're giving our best on court and off court we stay out of the drama. So that's what I would say. Uh, Mary, um, Ismail here. Um, last time we had a very a physical interaction was in Birmingham, and at the time you are. You had been with the team for quite some, even if you had just moved to the UK, uh, to England, where you play your, your netball. Then you returned to the side for the World Cup and the team. Most of the players we are with uh, have since left the team. How is the experience of fitting in with all the new players that have come into the side since Birmingham and over the past four years? Um, sorry, say that again. Um, I was asking, maybe I need to change a bit of my tongue, uh, that the, trans, this, the transformation you've undergone as an individual to fit in with some of the new players, because this team has changed significant from the guys you are with in Birmingham and those you are with at the previous World Cup in Liverpool. How difficult or easy has, been, has that process been for you to fit into this side? Yeah, I don't think it's been difficult. If you watch all the games, um, you, you could see this. We are always trying to see how everyone is playing. It has not been hard for me, despite the fact that I wasn't with the team. I was away for three weeks, and I joined them once I were here in South Africa. But watching our game, it's not like anyone is struggling. We have been in the touch. I've been in touch with the team um, to see how they're training and coach gave me direct instructions what I should be training and what should I, I should expect. Um, so, like, I think I fit in very well and I'm still, like, um, just united with the girl. It's just about understanding and just talking and communicating, really, that what matters in netball. Yeah. Mary, um, um... I don't know if I answered your question right. But... So Fairly, uh, I don't think you could have done a better job unless you carried the marking guide. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mary, you guys are doing a great job there despite whatever is happening, and we are glad that you are keeping a positive attitude. And uh, uh, I'm also talking about the transition of the team. I was. Uh, I watched the game uh, against uh, Jamaica back in 2015 when Uganda was playing and uh, one of the issues that we had was the height and the defense and the defenses were not so good, we couldn't defend so well and Jamaica is very good at that. Um, what should we expect in our parachute for sixth and fifth place, like Clive said, which is better if we can get that? Yeah, I think like... Um, height-wise, we have quite a, um, a, a fair range of, like, I myself, I'm tall, and I'm a tall shooter. We have um, Anisha, and we have other, when you look at our bench, we have moving shooters, and our defense is quite, like, 
mid French where they're not really sure and we still struggle in our midfield with the height but I don't think sometimes if you look at also other countries they don't have all massive people on seven massive players on some of them are short it's just about the skill and how you execute it and I think like we have come a long way and um like watching back how we played three years ago it's not the same how we are playing here we're a bit mature and a bit um critical what we are trying to do and we actually have a plan when we go to play like when if you listen to commentators like three years ago it's like we don't they don't understand our style but we are just playing <laughs> but a little bit structured now if you look yeah. at it so which is really a positive thing uh mary thank you very much andrew mangusha here um now hi hi so, Mary, what would you consider success uh, with, the, with the game, I mean, with the next action that you have? What would you consider success in this uh, World Cup? And secondly, you're already playing professional netball, and you have some players who are playing in the country. What kind of conversations are you having with them? Are they aspiring to go where you are, or they just want to play and come back home? Um... Definitely every player will have a vision to actually get spotted, especially when they have these major events. They will expect if anybody, any sponsors came out or clubs are signing, they would opt for that. But however, everyone here, our main goal is to actually put on a top ride, and which we have done. We are grinding every game and we leave a mark on every game, really. Like all the big games that we played, which are two so far, we have actually played the most impressive get netball we, people have seen so far, and which that's what we're looking at. And with that, it leaves a lot of good opportunities and good reviews about the player who has been played, and it gives them a lot of chances. Um, it's not about um, people opting to go away and playing and stuff, but it's about what the club is looking for, so the, about like um, several clubs in the UK, New Zealand, Australia, it's about what the club is looking for. Um, there, I don't know exactly what happens, but if someone is lucky, why not? Um, okay. Ma Mary, uh, perhaps uh, the final one. Um, we've seen with the games you played against Singapore, Trinidad and Tobago, New Zealand and then Jamaica. And the margin between Uganda, New Zealand and Jamaica uh, appears quite significant. Uh, what, can you quantify that in words and what it would take to close that margin? Because uh, for the years Uganda has played at the World Cup, you're very competitive uh, to get to seventh, almost compete for sixth. But the margin between Uganda and the top five remains huge. And you've had the chance to play in the UK and experience some of these players from New Zealand and Australia. What would it take to close that margin? Um, I just think it's about... Um how we prepare for these big games, like if you see how much, how well we have been playing, especially our very second game against New Zealand, you could see we were quite there, we were head to head, and then we kind of just got pulled a little bit. It's just about the consistency um, in our attack, defense, and that doesn't come overnight. It has to come with a lot of work. And I think all the events we have been at, we have either been finished the fifth or the seventh, Oh, I mean the sixth, seventh, um, but the Commonwealth we finished the fifth, and that was um, the very that was the difference between the other major tournaments. And I think it would take a lot as a country. We need to build more um, in terms of analysis, seeing what other our countries are doing, and we have a little bit of structure with clear instructions. This is what you want to do. This is what what they are playing against you, and this is how we're going to beat them. So we still don't have that in place. And as soon as we that have that, because every other all the top five, six countries, they do that, they have analysis, they play, they, they structure their training according to how the team they're going to play is playing. So the training is around how the team is playing and how you defeat their defense or their attack. So we still don't have that as a country and I think one, we know that and also other little things such as um, we are very strong as Uganda, you could use the speed of everyone on call driving in and out but imagine if we had um and strength and conditioning program yeah. how more could we deliver so it's just a just giving everything 
um, so that we can see actual results, but we need also to know how to win um, these big teams because big teams are being given a lot of respect. And I know I don't know when, when that time will come, but maybe sooner or later. Maybe lastly, Mary, uh, if the team could polish uh, themselves and play the way you speak, I think we shall close the gap. Sorry, say that again. If the team is articulate as, as you speak, we shall close the gap. <laughs> <laughs> We actually enjoy listening to you speak yeah. most of the time. You, you, quite, you do quite a good job as responding to questions. And this is uh, an attribute that is not very common with Ugandan sports yeah. persons. So yeah, the way you respond to questions is exactly how a professional should. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. I think you should ask more professional questions. <laughs> 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 Cheers. Uh, Clive, Clive. I think I think we, we we still have him, and I could hear him laugh. Um, uh, I imagine you agree with what she said. Um, having more structure and uh, knowing, you know, your opponent. Your opponent, people. yes, better. It's like she has all the answers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and it's actually a, a question that. Uh, we asked uh, the Jamaican coach today in, mm. in the press conference uh, after he had just played against Jamaica. And she actually said uh, the same exact um, things. Uh, the needs uh, to have uh, the proper structure, the needs uh, to have uh, consistency, and uh, the needs uh, to have the will to go out there and do what you are doing. And she just told us that uh, five, seven years ago, Jamaica was exactly where uh, Uganda is today. Mm. But they just decided uh, that to take that bold step of saying, we are going to try to do everything right. And because they are doing everything right, uh, they are now ranked fourth uh, in, in the world. And uh, they are threatening uh, that to win at their world. Cup. And uh, she had uh, so many nice things to say about Uganda. She was uh, blown away by the manner in which uh, Uganda actually keeps the ball. Yes, uh, we might struggle in a few areas here and there, but she's like, uh, they try their level best to keep and hold onto that ball and keep it away from, from the opponent. And uh, when you see to you better split against some uh, the less ranked countries, uh, they have actually gone out there and been dominant. And she raised, she raised something that so many people didn't pay attention to. Now, yesterday, you better lost uh, to New Zealand by just 10 points. And um, mm -hmm. the, uh, New Zealand are the world champions. They yeah. are the team to beat. They are the favorites uh, at, at this competition. So you believe that uh, as time goes and uh, Uganda is able to close the gap, and then I probably will get to the level we want to get. Um, it is shocking that uh, you walk on the streets and South Africans actually believe that Uganda has a realistic chance of beating South Africa on Thursday. Uh, they believe their chances of winning this competition are done and that's it. They don't think, they believe they'll struggle against, um, and they'll, they'll, they'll be beaten by New Zealand, they'll be beaten by Uganda, and they'll try to get a result of those. And for me, hearing those are probably, not, it's a testament that uh, maybe we are on the right track. Uh, we just need to get our house in order. If only we didn't have uh, this uh, big country going on and uh, focusing on trying uh, to probably uh, put uh, structures in place um, for the sports to be played. Maybe we will get to the level where other African countries are or even other countries in the world. Okay. Thank you very much, Clive. We might be talking to you a little bit.